Hello everyone, I'm Brophy1322 and welcome to a product review of an HP Omen laptop. Just for full disclosure, HP sent me this laptop. I'll leave all various links to it down below, but I'm not being paid for this, so it's going to be my uh, you know, full thoughts about everything. I'll explain the story of how this came about at the end of the video. I'm going to talk about the laptop itself at the start, its specs, and then since I've been using it for the past, you know, best part of two months, I'm going to talk about my experiences with it, positives, negatives, and then like I said, at the end, we'll get to uh, the story of how this came about and what I was using before this. And uh, yeah, this is certainly a big step up. So without further ado, let's uh, talk about the specs of this particular model that I have now. So the first thing to note is that this laptop does come in various different specifications with various different things inside it and that obviously does change the price both higher and lower. But the one that I have right here that we're going to be reviewing has an i7-7700HQ processor which boosts up to 3.8 gigahertz. The HQ suffix of that processor means that it is slightly better than the regular M suffix that you get on most mobile processors. And the graphics card inside here is an NVIDIA GTX 1060 6GB. Now obviously both of those things aren't quite as good as their desktop equivalents, but they still pack a fair punch as we'll go into later on. The screen is a 1080p IPS screen running at 120Hz, which is very nice on the eyes, uh, and the size of this one in particular is 15.6 inches. The RAM inside of here is 16GB of DDR4, and the storage comes with 256GB of M2 SSD, plus a 1TB 7200RPM hard disk drive as well. The ports on here consist of one USB 3.1 type C, three USB 3.1 type A's, an HDMI, a display port, an ethernet port, an SD card reader, headphone and microphone jacks as well as you would expect. It comes preloaded with Windows 10, it's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, an HD webcam and a numpad on the keyboard as well if that's the sort of thing that you want. In terms of build quality, it is really nice. Now, I have already done an unboxing video of this when we first got it, and that's on my second channel. I'll link that down below in the description. But a lot of people, well, there was kind of a divided opinion on the looks of the laptop. A lot of people liked the gaming style of it, the sort of, uh, the, the more harsh, you know, carbon edged sort of thing. And then there was other people who didn't like that sort of thing. So obviously from a styling perspective, it's entirely up to you whether you like that sort of thing or not. But from an actual build quality perspective, it is very, very good. It feels solid. The uh, There are Bang & Olufsen speakers in there, which sound great as well. And the keys all feel fantastic, you know, when you're just using it. From a usability perspective, from a build quality perspective at least, it's very, very nice and yeah, you're not worried about, you know, dropping it or breaking it or something. I wouldn't recommend it, but you know, it feels solid, let's put it that way. There are two fans on the bottom of the laptop with two exhausts at the back. Uh, the design of that is quite good, but obviously, you know, as you would expect when it does get, you know, when you when you are pushing it, when you're playing games and things like that, it does get quite loud. And that's just what you expect from these higher powered gaming PCs, because uh, gaming laptops, I should say, because, you know, they have to get the heat out some way. But regardless, you know, it is a very well built laptop, feels solid. It will be loud when you're playing games at high speed, but that's to be expected. And it's not so loud that, you know, it wouldn't drown out the sound of a game with headphones on or a headset on or anything like that. Now, I'm not going to go into, you know, really in-depth stuff regarding benchmarks when it comes to the processor or the graphics card or things like that. It's not what I do, you know, I don't I don't pretend to be an expert in any of that really. I know a little bit, but there's much better resources out there for those of you who want to get a full idea of how these uh, the, the processor and the graphics card can do. You can just search the models that are in these, this laptop on Google and there's plenty of resources out there for that. But I figured that since the majority of people who watch my channel are interested in GTA, I would run some benchmarks for GTA 5. I would just run the benchmarking thing that's in GTA 5 on the laptop and on my desktop as well, which is equipped with a uh, i7-7700K, which is overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz, and a GTX 1080 as well. So we're comparing the desktop benchmarks to the laptop benchmarks at relatively, uh, relatively reasonable settings. So then they're not too much, but they're, they're not too little either. Um, like I said, I'll leave 
all the links and of every any if you want any more information about anything that I'm talking about, I'll leave some links down below in the description. And that goes for the settings, a, a link to showcase the settings that I was running GTA at uh, when doing these benchmarks. But the laptop handled it surprisingly well, actually better than I thought it would. Now, like I said, this this isn't on maximum settings or anything, but you're never really expecting to get you know great performance from maximum settings from a laptop. But the levels of FPS that I was getting from this were pretty surprising to me that I was getting, you know, able to achieve such high FPS at kind of standard settings. Now, obviously when you're playing GTA online and all that kind of stuff, there's a lot more happening than just this benchmark test, so the FPS can be a little bit lower than that, but it doesn't lag too far behind to what the my, you know, my main desktop PC was doing. Obviously when you're comparing the FPS values, it's you know 10 20 30 fps behind in most instances obviously the benchmark itself is actually running slower because the processor is slightly weaker than the desktop but again it's not that much so you know pretty pretty impressive for a laptop to be able to do this and with gta being such a demanding game on both cpu and gpu for it to be able to you know run it relatively well like this at higher fps's you could with it you know it does have a 120 hertz screen so you can you know run it or try to get 120 fps out of it and uh get get you know get the benefit of that or you can sort of bring it down to 60 say as your target and make it look even better but regardless you know with gta being still even now one of the most demanding games to play you would be okay to play a wide variety of games on this laptop and and you'll get great performance from it and i've also you know, tried a little bit of Overwatch and things like that, and it just, it, it runs things totally fine. So that's nothing to ever worry about. So now let's talk about my personal experiences with the laptop, because like I said, I've been using it for the best part of two months. Um, like I said, the unboxing video for this, I'll leave a link to it in the description. That was on my second channel, but essentially in the box, you just get the laptop and a, a, a charger for it. The charger is quite bulky. Obviously, it's you know it's got the brick that you normally get with these sort of things, but it's not too bad. It's relatively thin, so it's not too bad. Um, and the reason that I got this was mainly for streaming when I'm away. So obviously, myself and my fiance Zexy, we go over to Sweden quite often. And over the past year, we've been to you know the US and Sweden, like I said, or traveling to conventions here in the UK. And I wanted to have a solution to be able to stream from different locations. Now, my solution previously to that was to get a Microsoft Surface, and it wasn't too good. Now, at the time, I kind of wanted that hybrid where I could use it as a tablet as well, but I later, you know, after using it for a little bit, I found myself not really using it as a tablet anymore and using it more as a laptop. And when I was taking it and, and streaming with it, people who watch my streams and who are watching my streams during those times can attest to this that, you know, I had to really reduce the quality of the streams to make it work. Um, and it just it just wasn't that great. So I thought to myself, you know, why why am I using an expensive Microsoft Surface like this when I could get so much more performance for the same price, essentially, if, if by getting a regular gaming laptop and oh yeah, a laptop isn't quite as you know versatile or um, as easy to carry around as a surface is but you know I'm not really bothered about that my main focus is performance and being able to run quality streams whilst I'm not here in this room at my main desktop pc so that was how you know and then they ended up getting in touch with hp and they decided to send me this and that's why I'm doing this review so the main function of this laptop for me has been streaming and I did run a test stream using the laptop. Um, it was the first Patreon stream for that I've ever done for April. I'll leave a link to that down below in the description as well. That is also my second channel so you can check out you know an entire stream from directly from the laptop and you can see the sort of how it handles it but basically it hasn't broken a sweat whether it's playing games like I said on the GTA section whether it's benchmarking games all that kind of stuff. Or, or streaming, um, I had plugged into this uh, different, you know, I've had different screens plugged into it, running different things. The the Elgato plugged into it to uh, use my PS4 through it and all that kind of stuff and stream PS4. But even as long as you have an extra screen, say, you know, it's quite important to have an extra screen for streaming because you want one screen to 
have gameplay for and then you want the other screen to you know have the you know, run the stream but as long as you have an extra screen you can plug it into the laptop and I, I would say that you could quite easily run the game and the stream at the same time just from the laptop and that's pretty impressive you know i'd never have been able to do that on the surface for example or um and, and back then i had to revert to using the ps4 to play the game plug the elgato into the surface and then run the stream that way but even then it was struggling to just run the stream whereas this hasn't broken a sweat at any point it's it is really impressive that the kind of performance that you can get from a laptop these days as you saw from the benchmarks it wasn't too far behind the desktop and obviously my desktop has some pretty decent stuff in it so for a laptop to be able to do that it is impressive i can't state enough how good the performance of this laptop is and how much it has surprised me that you can get that kind of power from a laptop and the last laptop i had was you know eight to ten years ago and it was nowhere near the level of what you can get for a desktop they've come on leaps and bounds at this point and you really can just get a laptop like this and be able to run anything that you want play anything that you want do anything that you want with it wherever you are so that's a decision that you have to make for yourself do you want to be at home on a desktop or do you want to have a laptop and then at that point once you've made that decision zero in on what level of performance you want and how much you want to spend on your laptop or desktop and if you do decide that laptops is the way that you want to go and you want that extra portability, the HP Omen laptops have a wide variety of customization. You can change and cater the price and the specifications of the laptop to what suits you the best. So th there might be an instance where you don't necessarily need to spend the most amount of money on the graphics card because you're not going to be playing as many intensive games or you might want to spend a little bit more to get a bigger screen. Or you might not need as much hard drive space so you can bring the price down that way there's there's a lot of different variations of laptop a lot of different specifications that you can have within the within this uh, this range and you can essentially get one that that works best for you so whether you're tra traveling for work or want to play games on the go or in different rooms in the house or go to LAN events and take a laptop you can be sure that whatever whatever specification that you get you'll be able to find the right laptop for you and it will always be able to handle pretty much anything that you throw at it. So ultimately, it's all about how much you want to spend and what you eventually want from your laptop. That's what you need to be looking into and I do recommend you know, HP, the Omen brand, not only because they've sent me this, but because I've looked at it, I've, done, I've used it and it is very, very high quality stuff. So... That's pretty much it for the review. Hopefully this has been helpful. Like I said, I'll leave all the links that you need down below in the description. I'll leave a link to specifically this laptop as well um, and, and where you can you know, check that out and buy that if you so desire, but also some resources to be able to look at different specifications for this laptop, see all the different things that you can get in it, what kind of price range that you have. Um, you know, you can get different sizes of SSD, you can get different graphics cards inside it, different processors. All of that makes the price different, either higher or lower. This is one of the ones that is closer to the top end, but still in that mid range, I feel, um, you know, you can definitely bump up the price a lot higher for a laptop than this. Um, but then you can also bring it down quite a lot as well. So like I said, I'll leave all the resources that you need down below in the description. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you to HP for sending me this. Um, I will certainly be using it quite a lot when we're on our, on our travels. And if you ever see me in a different room playing GTA or streaming or anything like that, it will probably be done from this laptop rather than the desktop that I'm usually on. And it's, I'm, I'm very confident in saying that I'm not going to have any issues in the future streaming from different locations. So that's pretty much it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.